I'd say West Ham's the most intimidating ground in London. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite it's quite a nasty atmosphere around West Ham, and it's like White Hart Lane. It's kind of you get the sense of community around around Upton Park, and um, you know they they don't like us very much. So uh, <laughs> Upton Park, well, that's not really that's not really that big, but it's not it's nice though. It's a, it's an old football ground. It's nice. It's very nice. It's a bit small. You're a bit cramped together as away fans, but it's all right. It's nice. Going to up to the park is nice. West Ham, horrible, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sylvie. Uh, that says it all. Yes. <laughs> Tottenham. What, what's bad about West Ham? Oh, well, they're horrible there. The people, aren't they? And that. Well, it's not a good ground to get to anyway. No. It's a very, very difficult ground to get to. You can't. Most of the um, games are like today. You can't park, oh. so you've got to go by public transport. Yeah. And the queues are just miles yeah. long. If you yeah. somewhere not to go, it's probably going to be West Ham or Millwall, because they are the fans there do hate the away teams, and you're not welcome. And I often we've come out of West Ham and you've been police escorted back to the so you don't want to go there. Charlton now that's a nice family. I forgot they got really good, didn't it? That's a nice family club. I'd, rec I'd recommend Charlton. Um, Charlton, yeah, Brentford, and Barnet as well. Even though it's very small, Barnet's a nice. Charlton is a really nice family club. Barnet's all right as well. Well, White Hart Lane, you've got it's, it's on a high road, so it's part of a community. You know, it's, it's not in a out of town car park or anything. So you know, you get a kind of sense of community at White Hart Lane. We can't go there wearing our colours, otherwise we can get attacked or, worst case scenario, be killed. And it's very, dis it's very, very disappointing and it's very, very violent now and we as Arsenal fans are not happy about it. Tottenham, you, it's nasty coming out, even Pat, she won't go there now, will you? No. The Emirates now, um, you know, it's, it's it's not Highbury. Yeah, Highbury had quite a lot of history about it. It's, it's quite soulless really. Now that we've gone over to Emirates now, a massive, bigger ground, fantastic ground, there's a lot more corporate in the fact that people don't even need to be football fans to go. They just need to have the money, you know, and it's disappointing because everybody's all over the place, you know, and there's, that, there's atmosphere, there's real atmosphere for the big, massive games. I guess if you really want to go and see the money people at the moment, you go to Chelsea. I mean, there's always tickets, they don't always sell out, do they, down Chelsea? But, you know, get entertained there, I guess, all the money. Because Chelsea fans, they try to be very intimidating, as it were, but you can still wear, you can still wear your colours there. I mean, I've had, a, I've, had a, I've had a lot of verbal arguments at Stamford Bridge, but it's OK. Chelsea, uh, mm, I don't really know what to say about Chelsea. It's, uh, you, you couldn't go there as an away fan and go around drinking or anything, you know, you're kind of in and out, kick your head down. It's interesting, but it's not too bad in the fact that you can still wear your colours. So anywhere you can still Anybody wear your colours, it can't be that bad. But it's interesting, it's very... They try to make it intimidating, but it's funny. Go to Fulham and you can do what you want, really. If you want a nice friendly day, go to Fulham. Because I mean, the away end is a neutral end, you just sit there, you can have a quiet drink by the river, the bars around it, anyone can go to. Even being in London, which I am, I live in London, I still, I still get a bus going to Stamford Bridge, going to Craven Cottage, going to Wire Lane, I've, unfortunately I can't go like this, but that's a different story. Going to Charlton, going to Loftus Road. Yeah, I'd definitely recommend it. London, to sum it up, um, euphoric. <laughs>